What's up YouTube, this is iTweaks here and today I'm going to be showing you guys the top 15 reasons that you're going to want to jailbreak iOS 7. Now if you didn't know, Apple released iOS 7 last week which included a number of features such as the control center, the improved app switcher, dynamic wallpapers, ability to block calls and messages, as well as even a live clock on the springboard. Now many people are going to say that this stuff was all inspired by jailbreak tweaks and apps and I'm going to have to say that I agree with them completely. Now, while we eagerly await for the Evaders team to release a jailbreak for iOS 7, let's go ahead and take a look at the top 15 reasons that you're going to want to jailbreak iOS 7 once that jailbreak is released. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is customizations. And while iOS 7 features an all new user interface, the novelty factor is going to wear off at some point. And jailbreaking is going to allow you to customize your iOS device in basically every way possible. You can install themes to change the look and feel of your iPhone like you can see right here. You just download a theme from Cydia after installing Winterboard and you can install those themes and make your icons look completely different as you can see right here. Your wallpaper looks different and it just gives you a completely new look and feel to your iDevice. Now if you wanted to go a step further you can even download Dreamboard and download Dreamboard themes and you can see here if I tap on that it's going to give you a completely new interface. Everything is completely different and everything works different, looks different and you can see right here that you can just swipe through and this looks like an Android device. But customization doesn't necessarily mean only changing the icons and the wallpaper. It means being able to do certain little tweaks to your device like changing the carrier like I have up here. It's changed to iPhone hacks as well as putting more icons on your springboard or even in your dock depending on what you want and you can do that with jailbreak tweaks. You can basically get your device to look and work the exact way that you want to. Now there's also some reports that iOS 7 zoom animations are actually causing nausea and headaches and there's possibly going to be a tweak there that's going to disable those features. Now the next thing I want to talk about is messages on steroids. Now Apple has revamped the messages app and added some cool features such as the ability to swipe on the message to see the exact time that the message was sent which is actually an out of date feature. I mean this is something that should have been implemented a long time ago because who doesn't want to know exactly when a message is sent if you're going back through and looking through there. I mean it's nice that they finally added it but it's something that was missing for a long time. But for us jailbreakers, I mean, the new messages app just isn't quite enough. There's still an emptiness inside of you when you're going from Byte SMS or iReal SMS and then you're jumping into iOS 7 messages app. I mean, that is not going to have quick reply, quick compose, scheduled messages, delivery reports, signatures. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different features that you're going to get with Byte SMS and iReal SMS. And you can see here that I actually have iReal SMS on my device. So it's really easy to quick compose all you need to do is hit the volume rocker and tap the little pop-up right here the volume pop-up and you can see that you can just type in whoever you want to send a message to and then type in your message right there now you can also get quick replies so if I send myself a message right here you're gonna see a pop-up that'll pop up right there and you can actually just type in a message and send that right there and I'm actually really surprised that Apple didn't implement some type of quick compose or quick reply messaging in iOS 7 because it's such a popular feature. But maybe that's something that they'll implement later on. Now let's talk about for the power user. The activator transform iOS into a mobile operating system for the power user. It allows you to invoke actions using shortcuts from anywhere on iOS. And there's a ton of stuff that you can do with activator. So if we just open up the activator here, let's go ahead and set a few of these. Let's go to at the home screen and we will do a, let's scroll through here for just a second. Let's do a three finger tap and you can actually decide what you want it to do. Let's have it, let's have it open up, compose a new tweet. So we'll just tap on that. Now we can go back and go to the springboard and all we have to do is tap with three fingers and it should allow us to compose a new tweet. So let's just do that. So just by a simple action, you can actually compose a tweet with three taps of your finger. I mean, as you can see, as I was scrolling through there, there's a ton of different gestures that you can choose from, as well as a ton of different actions that you can apply to those gestures. 
Next, let's talk about the enhanced lock screen. Now, iOS 7 allows users to access the notification center and control center from the lock screen. However, they don't offer features offered by jailbreaks tweaks such as IntelliScreen X and Lock Info that give you quick access to Twitter, Facebook updates, or RSS feeds from the lock screen. Now, let's go ahead and go to the lock screen so we can check out exactly what IntelliScreen X does. So you can see here, this is actually a separate tweet. This is typography, which I mean is a jailbreak tweak as well. So it's not something that you would get in your regular iOS 7 notification center. But if I scroll to the left here, you can see that I can check all of my mail straight from the lock screen and you can tap on these and open them up just by tapping. You can read straight from the lock screen and you can delete, mark on red or open right there. Now let's swipe to the right and you can see here's my Facebook updates so you can see all of the things that I have posted and if we swipe over to the right one more time here's Twitter so you can interact with people by opening link retweet reply and you can go through all your Twitter feed right here and another swipe to the right is gonna give you your RSS feeds so you can tap on these open them up and go to them read them and basically it just gives you a ton of functionality straight on your lock screen or in your notification center that you're not going to get with an unjailbroken device. Next I want to talk about password protect and app or folder. Now this is something really nice to have especially when you have a young children or you have a young niece or nephew that likes to use your device and you really just don't want them getting into some things on your phone like your email so you don't want them sending off random emails when they don't know what they're doing or just any particular app that you don't want them to get into. Now jailbreak tweaks like icon passcode and folder passcode allow you to do just that so if I tap on my folder here and I try to open up my contacts you can't get in without a passcode and then once you type in your passcode then it goes ahead and opens that up again I have it set on the calculator as well not necessarily that I want somebody locked out of my calculator but I just did that for this video so you just type in the passcode and it's going to open right up now the next thing I want to talk about is the Finder on your Mac or Explorer in Windows. Now it's great to have those things to manage your files on your computer. Now wouldn't that be nice to have on your iDevice? Well now you can. All you have to do is jailbreak and then you can download iFile. So if I tap on iFile here you can see this is a file manager and allows you to edit, enable, disable features and even on certain tweaks like lock screen tweaks you can actually go in and you can change the photo that's on the lock screen or you can change the weather location of the weather widget to your current location. So it's going to allow you to navigate through your iPhone file system and allow you to open any type of file and it's really going to allow you to edit any files directly on your iOS device which can be quite useful when you want to hack your iOS device to enable or disable a feature. Another really exciting thing about jailbreaking iOS 7 is extending the control center because one of the major new features in iOS 7 is the control center that gives us quick access to system toggles, brightness control, music playback controls, I mean you have app shortcuts in there, quick access to airdrop and airplay feature. However it is somewhat limited, you can only turn off 5 system toggles and 4 apps. So we're hoping that Cydia developers will be able to extend the functionality of the control center by removing these limits and giving us complete control to customize the control center. We also expect Cydia developers to add more functionality to iOS 7 such as quick reply and quick compose shortcuts as well as adding tap to tweet and tap to post shortcuts to Twitter and Facebook that were actually removed from the notification center in iOS 7. Now we also need to talk about the Enhanced Notification Center. Now Apple introduced the Notification Center in iOS 5 and saw a flood of custom widgets created for it. Now we hope that these custom widgets are migration to the Control Center as most of them seem appropriate for it rather than the Notification Center. We also expect developers to enhance the Notification Center to give us the ability to clear all notifications and the ability to use gestures to dismiss notifications and add more functionality to the Today tab. Now tethering is an awesome feature and instead of actually paying a monthly fee to your carrier, jailbreak apps like PDA Net and MyY allow you to tether your laptop to your iPhone's data connection for a one time fee. However do keep in mind if you are caught by your carrier it's possible you can get into some trouble. So use these tweaks with caution. Next let's talk about Find My iPhone Plus. Now Apple has made Find My iPhone more foolproof by adding the activation lock. However, it still does not offer features offered by jailbreak tweets such as I caught you and I gotcha that take a photograph of the person who enters the wrong passcode using the front camera. And there's also power guard which prevents someone from turning off your device and that makes it a whole lot more foolproof. 
and there have been several instances in which this has helped catch a thief who is oblivious to these hacks. Next up, let's talk about set default apps. One of the major limitations of iOS is the lack of option to set your favorite third-party apps as the default app. Thankfully, jailbreak tweaks like Maps Opener allow you to set Google Maps as the default app instead of the Apple Maps app as well as Browser Chooser and Browser Changer allow you to change the default browser. And if you're a bigger fan of Google Now rather than Siri, then you can use the jailbreak tweaks like Now Now. Also being able to use Wi-Fi only apps over the 3G network. You can use My 3G, which is a jailbreak tweak that will make your Wi-Fi only apps believe that they're actually running on Wi-Fi network even though their iOS device is connected to the 3G network, thus allowing you to use the Wi-Fi only apps such as Bloomberg Anywhere, Cablevision, DirecTV over a 3G network. Now Xcon is a complimentary jailbreak tweak which bypasses jailbreak detection in apps so you can use the apps that currently prevent jailbroken iOS devices. Users. Now you can also set any song as a ringtone. Now, now it is possible to create ringtones and alerts from your songs as you purchase from iTunes, but a jailbreak tweak like any ring makes it very easy to set any song from your music library as a ringtone or alert tone. Now when having to deal with the app store, there are going to be certain unauthorized apps. And even though there's over 900,000 apps in the app store right now, a small percentage of the apps get rejected for various reasons. Some of them like TalkOn that allow you to check the amount of radiation emitted by your iPhone or Groove Shark's iPhone app for its online music streaming service can be installed from Cydia, which is basically the unofficial app store for such unauthorized apps. You also have call management features, and while Apple has added the ability to block voice calls, FaceTime calls and text messages from the number or a contact, it still lacks the ability to block unknown and unrestricted callers offered by iBlacklist, which you can download straight from Cydia. So yeah, iOS 7's nice, it's new, it's great, and it's a whole lot better than iOS 6 in my opinion. And I mean there were over 200 new features added to iOS 7, but there's still quite a few reasons to jailbreak your iPhone once iOS 7 jailbreak is out. There's so many more possibilities for iOS 7 with the control center, a new notification center. I mean, there's going to be a ton of different things that you're going to allow you to customize and basically just give freedom to your iDevice. And it's going to allow you to do whatever you want to with it and have it just the way you want it. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.